Hey y'all, this is Mike from Intamin and Adventures. How you doing today? Um, so for anybody who's been following my channel, who knows that me and the wife are starting to consider uh, going to a new camper, new RV. Um, had a couple, did a video before on a uh, Montana toy box, toy hauler, and a Tiffin. Well, also entering the running is a Winnebago. Uh, 24 V. Um, we like it because you don't have to open up all of the, any of the slides in order to use it. Um, so if you're spending the night somewhere while traveling and you don't have the space or you don't want everybody to know when you're staying there overnight, um, you don't have to open up all your slides in order to use it. So that's one of the reasons we're looking at it. Plus it has some of the upgrades already to its standard that I want, such as solar. And it's big, uh, plus or selling point is, is the Tiffin only has about 600 some odd pounds uh, for cargo carrying capacities. And those of you who don't know what that is, that's your, that's what you weigh, your passengers weigh, your water weight, your propane weight, uh, anything you pack into the camper. While the Winnebago has a 1,300 and I think 34 pound for that 24 V, um, huge difference, huge, huge difference. I'm a big guy. Um, I weigh 300 pounds, so I eat up half of the Tiffins. Um, and I think the way they do that though is, is while our Tiffin uses all wood interiors and high quality, just like in the, they do in their class A's for the Wayfarer, Winnebago is actually using, uh, I guess this Italian cabinet maker, um, it's synthetic materials. It's very light. Um, but it's beautiful. It's not like your press board in some of the lower end uh, class C's or class B plus, whatever you want to call them. So huge difference, huge, huge difference. So on my way back from Daytona and I was riding my motorcycle back, I stopped at, I know I'm going to use the cursed word camping world. But they had what I wanted to see in stock. And I took some video and I'm going to go ahead and put it in here. And uh, I really liked that 24V. I do, I do, I do. So enjoy the video. And if you like it, uh, let us know. Let me, what you, let me know what you think. Uh, hit the like, hit the subscribe, and we'll see you out on the roads. Man, a little dirty sitting out here. Tell us it's been sitting here a bit. She looks nice though, real pretty, even though it is not full body paint. That is actually decals, but she looks nice. Unfortunately, the door comes up, but it's not too bad to get underneath, I guess. Decent sized storage. Alcoa aluminum rims. Generator. Generator. Looks like we have the diesel instead of the LP. That's nice. More storage. Big storage. Second entrance. Hardwired electrical outside shower, water heater. Stay on the Let's see what we got. Black tank and valves. Yeah. Let's 
see what this one is. Ah, more storage. Cool. Slide room controllers for when you don't have power. Now for the real truth. What is our cargo care and capacity? Okay, 24V. You got a, got a window on one side, but not on the other. Can't get my cross slow there. Nice jack or uh, pull out. Somewhere under here is a latch. There it is. counter controls well, the kitchen counters the TV microwave refrigerator there's the rear bed that turns into a king LEDs in the ceiling looks nice that drawers under the back beds good size drawers That's how you pull that out Make the king bed out of it good size counter Medi two medicine cabinets I should use one for towels there is the shower. Um, I'm six foot one, about 315, and it's a little tight for me, but it's not a non starter. Oops. There is the hanging. Another pantry cabinet with pull out drawers. And there is our solar and all your controls. Generator. Well, there you go. There's the 24th V. Um, I hope I might've covered some things you, if you were interested in it that you haven't seen all the other places. That's why I went to look at it personally, but um, so Hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, and uh, we'll see you out on the road. Bye-bye.